The stretch there with uh, with Austin initiating so much of that offense uh, after Rui had stepped up as he did. Uh, what were you looking for there? How did, did that develop naturally in your thoughts? Uh, I thought it just developed naturally, and it was slightly deliberate. Um, both Austin and D'Lo, you know, we like just changing it up a little bit, changing the music, and sometimes it's Brian setting it, sometimes it's A. Sometimes we run a double, pick and roll with both of them in it, so a small and a big, but thought he did, a, I know just him, his ability to get downhill, get in the paint, draw fouls, he's an excellent mid-range scorer, can also get all the way to the hoop, pull back on the re-screen, shoot a three, so it was good. We had a lot of guys rolling, had their own segments of the game offensively, and uh, defensively down the stretch, we were able to lock in and get some stops, some key stops and holding them one possession. Towards that end, seven blocks for AD, three yeah. steals, uh, and un, you know, uncounted number of other impacted plays. So, what did you see from him defensively? You know, he's our linebacker. You know, what I mean, just just our middle linebacker, guy that's just seeing everything in front of him, um, talking to the guys, just protecting the rim, being a presence in the paint, his activity, his his energy on that side of the ball, his great active hands as well. So, anything low, anything high, he can account for. Uh, but the communication amongst all the guys were great. You know, A set a tone. I told him before the game started, I need you to set a tone. Be that guy. And um, he did it. And so, uh, you know, his, his, his biggest mark that needs to be made consistently throughout is on the defensive end. We know what he can do offensively. He has some great moments there too. But defensively, I thought he was, he was unbelievable. Darvin, how's uh, AD's shoulder? And, and can you take us back to that moment of just kind of the uncertainty, obviously going into halftime and then you know, him going through some tests and then coming back out in the second half? Well, the, sho the shoulder is fine. I think it was just a stinger. Um, you know, he got caught in the fray. His body's crashing, banging some people in the air, some people coming down on your shoulder. Then he got hit. Someone landed on top of him um, as he was going up and, and got a stinger. So that was good news to know that it wasn't anything beyond that. Um, and you know, it's just, it's just happy he's okay. You know, I told, I instructed our medical team to get him to the back immediately and start the evaluation process and testing it out. And um, he was able to finish the game. Darvin, um, LeBron took one shot in the fourth. I think AD up until the final, maybe 70 seconds, took one shot in the fourth. What did it say about those guys and kind of making the right play that they, the, the, the trust that they had in a team, in the, in the rest of the team, and how validating is that for this group, considering how still relatively new it can be? I think it's huge, man. And, uh, you know, the game and the opponent's defense usually dictates where the ball is going to go or who's going to have to step up and make plays. Excuse me, obviously, you know, they want to take LeBron out of it. They want to take away AD. Um, so other guys, they have to be ready to step up and make plays. You saw it with Rui. You saw it with Austin, D'Lo. Um, Dennis, you know, he had, he had some good moments just, just playing downhill to the rim. So, you know, that, that's a big part of it. That's a part of why, you know, we made the moves we made to, to, make, to have multiple threats and where the defense can't just lock and key in on our two captains. And, and, and then, you know, in turn, we struggle. We have uh, a plethora of guys that can make plays with and without the ball in their hands. Darvin, how big was it to have uh, Jared do what he did against uh, Ja there, especially in the first half? You know, it's, 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 a, it's a testament to him, and it's a teachable moment for all young basketball players out there. You know, they just think, you know, it's all about making threes or dunking on people or whatever. If you're able to, you know, lock in defensively, uh, rebound, uh, really embrace that role, there will always be a place for you on a high-level basketball team in a high-level league such as the NBA. So, you know, his, his ability to just lock in and be selfless, uh, taking tough matchups, uh, diving on the floor, doing the dirty work, setting screens, going, you know, going to the second and third action when he's involved uh, is, is, is great. It's invaluable, and, and I'm just happy we have an asset like that on our roster. We all kind of saw, as you came towards the end of the regular season and, and even in the playing game, it wasn't your sharpest basketball. You were still winning games, but not necessarily your sharpest basketball. Uh, what combination of, of the time off to rest this past week led to you know the execution today, or, or how much was it was it actually just you know guys playing really well on top of that? I think it's a combination of both. You know, guys feeling refreshed, and also us looking at 
ways we can improve on that side of the ball. Um, we, we, we were well aware of everything you just mentioned, you know, last week of the season or so, the play-in game where possessions got away from us. Um, we threw away possessions with no pass or one pass, then shot turnovers. Um, and, you know, a little bit of that reared its head in, in the second quarter. But, uh, you know, we, we, we went through the film, watched a lot of film on ourselves. And, you know, that's a hell of a team over there, you know, uh, elite defensive team. And so, you know, your, your no pass shot, one pass shot is not going to work. You got to be ready to initiate quickly with pace. And they, nine times out of ten, they're going to take away that first uh, option that you're looking for. But you got to be able to play to a second or third side and keep the ball moving. And I thought our guys did a, a hell of a job doing that. But just the film study, the feedback, the communication amongst the guys and, and the players to, to the coaches, coaches to the players was phenomenal. And, again, it wasn't anyone trying to prove themselves to be right or they, their way is the best way. It's like how can we best ex extract the most uh, production as we can out of this group? And this is how. And, and this is what's going to work against this team. This is what we need to explore. This is what we need to leave to the side. So I thought it was a com combination of all of that, being fresh and really looking, taking a deep, hard look at our uh, offense and th th what's been good and what's been bad.